On my trip across the pond, not only did I get some cinnamon products, I also got some extra Flaming Hot Cheetos. I've never tried them before, always wanted to, so let's give them a go. Hi everybody and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is Michael Gulliver, AKA Gulliver, and today we are trying Cheetos Extra Flaming Hot. Now, I've always wanted to try Cheetos uh, Flaming Hot because I love, love, love um, the Doritos, um, what's the spicy Doritos called? Uh, Chili Heat Wave, that's it. Absolutely adore those. I love their version of um, when they did the What's It as well. So I'm very excited. I've heard these are incredible. Um, and just looking at, look at the color of those. I love the packaging. It's uh, the purple, the bright, bright purple, which you've got to like that. Then looking at the, um, the color of the dusting on the product, I'm hoping that they look like that as well. So we will give it a go. Again, these were from um, I took to Mexico. Um, I brought a few bits of bobs back and um, it's incredible the fact that I've been around back a few days and I haven't opened any of these. Oh my God! I don't know if it comes across how red they are. Like, that is obscene. Look at that. That is not altered in any way unless MJ has done that, which I don't think he has. That is obscenely red. That is, oh my God. Sniff. Oh, it smells like chilies. I think these are going to be spilled. I didn't bring a drink with me either. Oh, hang on. I'm about to eat something hot and spicy. Safety first. Hashtag belt wars. Nathan so-called Peterson. Anyway, just gonna hold up one of these back. Look at that. Look at that. It's very, very red and pink. So I'm kind of delaying it because I'm a bit worried because I'm not very good with spice, but I like these types of, um, you know, spicy crisps. We'll give it a go. Okay, down hatch. Okay. Alright so far. I can get the dust on my fingers. Okay, starting to get some heat now. I've only had three. I'm gonna have two more just to make sure I get a decent look at that. Very colourful. Okay, so these are flaming hot cheetos, extra flaming hot cheetos. Oh yep, yeah, the heat's coming. It's coming in waves. Um they I would say they are basically I would say they are more like a more intense version of the chili heat wave and Doritos. They've definitely got that more of a chili flavour. That sort of um sort of uh, well the chili sort of um bitter bitter flavour and the heat on that it's not quite as um on the on the um the chili heat wave Doritos it's more sort of soft and it sort of builds but it never sort of um crosses over a line. This crosses over like that spicy line a little bit more so it sort of it comes to the fore a little bit and um you know you can sort of feel it at the top of your tongue and you know when you breathe in but I think if you're fine with spice, it won't even affect you. I'm a bit of a wuss with spice, so, you know, it definitely, um, it's, it's lingering. And it definitely tastes like chilli rather than, you know, um, um, ironically, which chilli heat wave, I don't think tastes like chilli at all. Unless you get the uh, the Aldi versions, they really, really do. But these really do. Um, can I see myself eating an entire bag of those? Um, not without a cold Coke, probably not. Um and you probably have to eat them in bits and bobs. I say that, I'm, I probably would just scoff them anyway because I love crisps. Um, the t texture, very crunchy as you expect from Cheetos, which um, I adore um, what's it's, um, the spicy ones as well. I just love that texture, but these um, really, really do go well with the, um, the spice on it as well. You're crunchy and you get that feedback. So I think if it was a soft ones, you'd probably eat them a bit too quickly and it probably wouldn't work with some. Um, I think the crunchy Cheetos works really well. God, my mouth is watering. Um, so, score-wise, I would say it's probably a 3 out of 5 for me. Yeah, um, I had really high hopes for these. Um, everyone's been banging about how good they are. I see everyone, people I watch on the internet, listen to podcasts and things, um, so how good they were. So, And I do think the um, two Heatwave Doritos are probably better, to be honest. So I think if you like those and you haven't tried these, you're probably not missing out. If you saw it out and about, you know, and it was re relatively cheap, then yeah, I would buy them, but I wouldn't go out of your way to sort of import them, for example, spend a fortune on them. Because when uh, they were, I can't remember how much they were, they were less than 100 pesos, so they were pretty much money at all. Um, in fact, yeah, yeah, they're next to nothing. So, um, so yeah, a uh, little bit of a disappointment. I still liked it, but didn't quite hit the dizzying heights that I was expecting. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Food Review UK. If you haven't already, click like on the video. It really does help us out. Let us know in the comments below what are your favourite spicy crisps and snacks. Um, anything you recommend for someone who doesn't really like that much spice but likes, you know, 
likes to would like to branch out to spicy snacks like crisps and things like that. Um, and already, if you haven't already, subscribe to the video. Subscribe to Food Review, Food Review UK, if I can say it. Subscribe to Theme Park Life. Subscribe to Power Region Place. And go listen to Dice and Desire on your favourite podcast service. Thanks so much for joining us and have a good day. If you like Monster Munch, people don't I don't doubt how they do. Paint me like one of your friends, just Jack. Oh, awful. Yeah, nice and firm. Oh.